because the farrier's coming today. That's right. I got today off from work. I'm so excited because the farrier is coming today and it is a beautiful day out. It's supposed to be almost 70 degrees, which is crazy because it is November, but that's all right. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain because after the farrier comes, then I can go and really work with Ethan and they'll be all beautiful because that's what I'm going to do right now. And I wanted to share that with you. Hi again, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, grooming time welcome. So my horses have had their breakfast and actually Ethan is pawing right now saying, hey, I'm ready to go out. But I wanted to share with you guys what I'm gonna do to make it easier on my farrier. And I know I've done videos like this before in the past, but I really wanted to show you my whole starting process and what I do with my horses to hopefully make it easier on my farrier. So I think we'll begin the getting horses ready for the farrier with Ethan first since he's rubbing his butt. I think he wants his blanket off. So let's go get Ethan ready for the farrier. So this was a super fun day for me just to be able to spend the day with my horses and it was beautiful outside and the farrier was coming. So I was so happy. So what I like to do before I get my horses out is get my grooming box ready and Ethan was first to come out because when I was making the video, he was rubbing his butt up against his gate. So I think he was really telling me he wanted his blanket off. So I decided to start with Ethan. And they did have blankets on because it was cold the night before. I don't usually blanket my horses unless it's going to be below freezing. And if I remember correctly, I think it was around 30, 25 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was pretty chilly. And Ethan doesn't really have a thick winter coat as you can hopefully see in some parts of this video. But after I put his blanket away, then I just got to work currying him all over. And Ethan still tends to get a little jumpy. He doesn't like to stand very well. So I just spend a lot of extra time working with him just standing so he gets used to it. He's gotten tremendously better than he used to be, but he still gets a little antsy and I want him to understand that standing isn't the worst thing in the world that could happen to him. And after I curried him, then I applied some MTG, which is mane, tail, and groom, to his mane and to his tail. This stuff works really good to help like detangle their tails and also to help their tails grow longer and thicker faster. You just don't want to use a lot of it because it can burn a little bit. I think it's the sulfur in it. I'm not 100% sure, but I do like to put this on my horse's manes and tails about once a week, especially in the winter time. And then it was time to pick out their hooves. And as you can see, Ethan gets a little cantankerous with having his hooves picked up. So it's just a repeating process of doing the same actions over and over again to get him used to it. And I know it probably doesn't look like it here, but he really is improving and getting better. He just needs lots and lots of consistent work and I need to get better at being more consistent with working with him. Sometimes it's just fun just to hang out with your horses. I think so anyway. I like just hanging out with them and grooming them and just being around them. That makes me happy. And after I picked out his hooves, 
he does have some mud buildup on his hooves so I have some of that cowboy magic green shampoo like the stuff that you don't have to rinse off and I spray that on their hooves and then use my hoof pick with the brush on the end to kind of scrub off some of the the grime and the mud that gets caked onto their hooves because my horses are turned out at least a good portion of every day and it does get muddy so I do clean their hooves out but I don't always scrape everything off of their hooves and then after I put that green magic remover stuff on then I just grab some water and just kind of scrub their hooves I like to do that before the farrier comes so that he can see what their hooves look like if there's any problems and hopefully it helps I'm, I'm not sure if it does but I'm hopeful that it does help him By this time it was getting a little bit warmer so I took my coat off and just took a stiff brush to Ethan's coat. He doesn't have a super long winter coat like Frisbee does so I do like to brush him a little bit more. Frisbee's a little bit more challenging to brush because he really turns into a teddy bear in the winter time. I like the stiff brush especially on their legs and I just use the bristles kind of to the side because that helps to get if there's anything that's caked on it really helps to work through that and takes off the mud or any gunk that's on their legs and I found as long as I use it to the sides and I'm not like pushing the brush into their legs it doesn't hurt them and they don't seem to mind he's dusty During the winter, I don't bathe my horses. It's just too cold where we live, and there's not really any reason that they need a bath, so they do tend to get a little bit dusty over the winter time. And after I have him brushed, then I decided I was going to tie up his tail so it would stay out of the farrier's way. If you're a farrier, I don't know, tell me, does this make any difference to tie the horse's tail up out of the way? I know it would probably annoy me to have a tail hanging in my face when I was trimming a hoof. That's why I do this, but it's pretty easy. I just braid it in a regular braid the entire length of their tail. And then just use like braiding bands to secure it. And then I usually see if I can find something like a piece of twine, since I do have a lot of twine laying around, and I just tie up their tail, kind of like a mud tail, I guess. So that keeps their tail out of the way for the farrier. And look at Ethan, he's actually standing still. He's not jumping around. I'm pretty impressed with my pony right now. In my opinion, it's a good thing to spend extra time with your horse, grooming them, just doing mundane tasks, and having them getting used to it. Again, I especially think this is important for Ethan, just so he gets used to being tied up and that, yes, it's okay for him to stand still while I'm working on it. And then I did get into my summer grooming box and grabbed a couple of other brushes just to kind of get some of the dust and dirt off of Ethan.
really is a good boy. And after I got him pretty much groomed, I did take some of the sarcoid salve that I had and I put it on the sarcoids that he has. They are getting tremendously better, but they are still present there on his neck. And I have a lot of people ask me, what's on Ethan's neck in video comments? So Ethan has sarcoids on his neck, which is kind of like a tumor. And the sarcoid salve that I have actually is helping to decrease the size of the sarcoids. Um, there's not really much else you can do, and I'm not going to do surgery on it because a lot of times they come back. So I thought I'd give you a speeded up version of me getting Frisbee ready for the farrier. Since you already saw me get Ethan ready, now it's Frisbee's turn, but we'll just do it a lot faster. Okay, the farrier just left. Ethan's feet are all pretty. Nice and trimmed up again. Those are his front feet. Those are his back feet. And don't worry, I did put coconut oil on them, but I waited until after the farrier left. Ethan, you look so pretty. He's a good boy. So that's Ethan's two seconds of fame. Now we'll do Frisbee's two seconds of fame. And now Frisbee's all cleaned up and his hooves are beautiful. There's the front ones. There's the rear ones. And I was really worried about his front hoof because he had like a little cut in it and it looked like it was separating. But the farrier said that was okay and it was more cosmetic than anything. So it won't hurt him, won't hurt his hoof health in any way. Yeah, he wants to go out now. They're both like saying, okay, now it's time for us to go out. But look at how pretty he is. He's all cleaned up. As much as he can be with the huge winter coat. Frisbee doesn't have the best tail in the world. But that's okay. Come Frisbee. So Frisbee's all done. Ethan's all done. Now it's time for me to let them out and I can guarantee you I know what they're both going to do as soon as I turn them loose. So let's turn them loose and see what happens. Oh, my horses proved me wrong today. They didn't come out and automatically roll. I guess there's a first time for everything. Well, my horses are clean still and I'm filthy. So I'm gonna go inside and get cleaned up. My hands are dirty. So that's what it's like for me getting ready for the farrier to come out and see my horses. It gives me a little bit of extra time because I have the day off from work that I can spend with my horses, pamper them a little bit, and spend a little bit more time grooming them. 
Hopefully you didn't find that too boring. It was pretty fun, I think, a couple hours later. But now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch and I will see you guys again real soon. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture. At the end of this video, you can subscribe to my channel and watch all my DIY videos and my vlogs with me and my horses. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride. Thank you.